Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was out of Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors just as they were finishing up this 1970 Dodge Challenger convertible I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around we'll take a quick look at it. Steve? How you doing brother? Doing good Scotty, how you doing? Outstanding. These are one of the cars, the Challengers and the Cudas are one of the cars that if you're a car person, you, it doesn't matter about brand. They're just cool cars, they just oh, got yeah. a really good look to them. Yeah, it's funny because back in the day, that's why they're worth so much money now. I mean, back in the day, that was the car that nobody wanted. So, I mean, all of them got gone. Right. And now here it is, you know, uh, 50, 50 years, years later, later right. and you can't find them some. And, and they, these things have become so popular now. And, you know, they're, it's a really sought after car. So it's a really, really nice car. Especially these in the convertibles. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, one with a Hemi in it'll bring several million dollars. A million yeah, dollars. Yeah, the original. So, yeah, 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 no, that's. I dig the color too. Yeah, that blue looks really good on that, and we try to match the interior with that too. So it, it, it well, with the black with the blue stitch and right. things like that, really stood out, especially in the sunshine and stuff. Does it have a Hemi? It does. It's actually got the uh, the uh, the new Hemi, the Hellcat engine oh, wow. in it. Yeah, cool, I'll, I'll read you some yeah, stuff yeah, that he sent me there. Right. Yeah, it belongs to Dennis Craig, and they're out of Kentucky, and uh, he said, of course, it's a 70 Challenger. It's got the Magnum Force uh, Transformer front suspension, Pro-Link rear suspension, built specialty outlaw steering wheel, Butnick wheels, strange built uh, Dana 60 rear end, and it's a 373 gear. It's got Wellwood brakes. It's got the Dodge Hellcat motor and six-speed transmission, so you know yeah. that's going to be fun. That's right. And it's been mini tubbed uh, to allow that for the extra wide tires, and then it, it was uh, the paint was done by um, Keith Allison of Allison's Rod and Customs. It's a blue pearl with a metallic in it, so it's Sweet. it's a pretty neat car. No, it's very good. It's got a nice stance. I'm fine with the wheels. Of course, I'm a fan of the blue. It's a convertible, and now it's got a Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom interior in it. Yeah, we use cool black leather in it from. Um, Walsdorf leather, and then the interior, the cloth part of it, we used, it's actually called, the pattern is a Nissan, not the Nissan truck, but right. Nissan Electro is what it's called. So it's, it's pretty cool. When that, when that, with, people may not know, but Steve's got sample books, that's yeah. how you know the leather and the inserts. And those inserts, there was a bunch of them that came in and we were looking through them and I was like, dude, we gotta find a car to put this in. And that's the and, perfect and one, and right? that was the perfect one. Cause I know, I mean, I love all your interiors, but this one there again, I think this is a new benchmark. I just think it fits really well. Tell us what you did to it. Of course, Noah pulled out the dash and Tim, you know, made a pattern, covered all that and the, customized the dash all leather with the blue stitch and then um, made a full custom console. Tim did it. And that's a hard thing on them cars because the rear end or the uh, tunnel is set to the passenger side almost two inches. So it's really hard to get everything lined up to where it looks cool. So the uh, if you if you was to get in there and look at you notice that the tunnel we had to build the console to where the tunnels to the right hand side of the car a little bit so it's a little different but looking at it it looks like it was all made just just for us so it makes it a little difficult trying to do that same thing with the rear seat area and Noah built all that back seat area and you have to maneuver it to where you, the center of the seat still looks like the center of the car right but where the where the tunnel comes in you've got to maneuver all that and stuff so it's it's not just throwing a seat in there or throwing a console in it there's a lot of engineering and everything that goes to making it look right and everything right. be symmetrical and to the point so, to the point i was watching a show the other night their uh, rear axles one side of the rear axle is longer than the other side there's a left yeah. and a right and they're different lengths because again mopar didn't put them up to the center of the car for some reason yeah and that makes it hard when you do a custom interior because everything is shifted to the to the passenger side. You have side. to make seats narrower and wider, one narrower than wider. How do you do that? Well, normally you would if, uh, but we made a full bench back seat for it. We tried to get the interior to look like it could have come factory that way. You know, it's got right. the full bench back, but what we did is under the bottom of it, we slid, you know, redesigned the bottom of it. And then the top of it, we fixed it to where it's in the middle. So, you know, it's a little, probably a little difficult to, to explain, right. but yeah, you know. but now the seats are the same size. If Tim would have centered the console with the tunnel, well, it would have looked like the passenger seat had 
Uber's all crowded in and the driver's seat would have had a ton of room. Right. So, and that would have looked stupid. So sure. made the seats exact, set the console in there, measured everything made and made everything fit to that. Wow. And those door panels, are they original door panels that you covered? That's an original style do door panel, yeah. And what we did, we cut, of course they just come with a piece of plastic stuck on the door. But we took and uh, modified, made everything look where it needs to be. Took off the, had roll up cranks, we put uh, power windows in it. Had fiberglass over all the hose and you know get all that ready and we put aluminum trim in in the door panels and on the bottom in the in the little original hole and um, put the original little emblem in it just try to keep it looking you know like I mean you can everybody looks at it can tell it's a custom interior right but it it still looks like it could have come factory it, that'll that interior will never go out of style i don't think so you know and those we'll, and those cars had a had a iconic unique door panel oh yeah. it was a big bulky kind of a door panel yeah you know? so when you hard. open that and you still see that in there yeah it's what you should see yeah you know and then so yeah it's modern <clears throat> touch but still has all those cool touches to it too yeah and if you notice uh it, when you look at the back seat and the the tubs in the back seat you know the he's you know it's been mini tubs but looking at it, you can never tell from the interior that anything's ever been done. It looks just like it could have came stock like that. Because we, all them back panels, we've had to, we cut them down to fit the tub, but then we had to extend them and fiberglass all of that and make them wider. And then we put the aluminum trim in. So we extended that whole panel and fitted all that. Well, it, it looks like you could have just went and bought it, but you can't. All, all right. that's hand handmade to fit all that this back interior area is stuff. one large optical illusion oh yeah <laughs> right i mean yeah. the seats aren't centered but yet they look like they're centered it's been mini tub but you can't tell it's been <laughs> mini tub so you've worked your magic on it yeah yeah we did we, you know, well, i appreciate it yeah. and uh well it wasn't me for sure but all the all of us and you know, the boys all working together you know they like again i, I couldn't express how much I, I, I wouldn't want to do it without them you know nick nick is excellent on them trunks he, he made that interior the trunk interior looked just like the door interior and Fits the real tram well. and everything. So, what about the top? Did you do the top? Yeah, it's got all custom black, stay fast convertible top on it with the glass back window. All that works good. Um, now, did you start with a piece of material for that? Or did you buy a kit? That one I actually bought because they they fit really good. Okay, uh, we got that from Key Auto Tops. They they do a good job on making the convertible tops for us. Some cars I, I'll get them to make it for us, and then sometimes I. Like some cars, you just can't buy a convertible top. We're doing a uh, 40 Ford convertible that's been chopped down, so where you can't buy right. a top. So I'm actually hand making that from scratch. Right. But this one fits good, just like it is from the uh, from the factory. So we we went ahead and bought the black stay fast and put that one on there. And then uh, Garrett, my son, if you notice all them stitches, I mean, man, he's he's better than his dad is on and doing them. Uh, that's a good thing. French seams. Yeah, that's right. what I, I said. You need to be better than me. Right. So, I mean, I, that's what I'm trying to teach him, kids, and Noah and everybody. I'm trying to teach him, look, do it better than I'm doing it. Right. And you'll shoot. When you'll I'm gone, you're just going to keep on trucking. You're not going to insult you by doing better than oh, you. Oh, I'm can tickled do. to death. I, I, I am tickled when anybody can do it better than I can do it. <laughs> that means they're trying. I'm with you. Well, <laughs> and that means I don't have to do it. They can there do it. There you right? go. Yeah. No, how cool is that? Well, great team you've got out here. Oh, I'm tickled to death. Yeah, it's a it's it's a team effort, and I love with it, working with all of them. They're all great, great guy, bunch of guys to work with. And uh, shoot, we just have fun doing these interiors and roll them on, pay the bills, move on to the next one. Well, man, y'all killed this one. Well, I appreciate it, Scotty. So there you go from Steve Hulk and Pro Auto Custom Interiors, a very nice 1970 Dodge Challenger convertible. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See. Ya. Well, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.